Malcolm, the long journey over to Australia, mate. It must be good to get some K's in the legs here in Canberra ahead of Saturday. Yeah, definitely. Um, wasn't too long, actually. Uh, uh, not too bad from Sydney over here, so which is good. I mean, that good to be out on the field, just get the legs loose again. Were you happy with the the team's response after the last game over in Johannesburg against the Sharks? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously we wanted to put it behind us. It wasn't our best performance, to be honest. And um, I think the Sharks just typically outplayed us. But um, yeah, this week's a new week and a new challenge against the Brumbies. Taking on the Brumbies, their their front row looks to be an on all on all Wallabies front row for Lafayette, Scott Sia and Alatara as well. Is that an exciting prospect to come up against them? Yeah, definitely. It's always it's always exciting playing against guys that are extremely experienced and you can learn a lot at the same time. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Obviously, we're going to focus on what we can control and all of that, and uh, we'll go from there. You know, World Cup, you had a little bit more spice, you know, with a, you know, a player of your calibre coming up against players like that, Australian Wallabies versus Springboks. Yeah, well, obviously, that's not my focus right now. I'm focusing on Super Rugby at the moment. I obviously got to perform in Super Rugby in order to, to get the nod for that a little bit later. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'll focus on this weekend, um, and we'll take it game by game, I suppose. About halfway through the Super Rugby season now, obviously finalists back to back. How do you guys see yourself at the moment? You know, halfway through 2019. I think we're not focusing that far ahead. We're focusing on now, game by game, um, week by week, training by training. I suppose uh, we can't um, we can't really focus on things too far ahead. Um, that's obviously the end goal, but I mean we've got to focus on the Brumbies this weekend.